What separates Southeastern is our ability to be able to think out of the box. For example, teachers, both teachers and students, are able to come up with projects that aren't a canned curriculum. We utilize, you know, a theory or an idea and we put it into motion. And I think you've seen that through um, the incorporation of a new performing arts program in music and video. And you've also seen it through the Innovation Academy and things like that. Students have the ability to be able to learn through their vocational programs their academic standards such as science, English, math, and even history. And because that students are able to incorporate these type of standards into their hands-on projects, I think they understand the value and the purpose for those, those type of subjects. 24 shop areas at this time. Um, we have our five different centers. You know, we have the Center of uh, Transportation and Metalworking, which includes automotive, collision, manufacturing, metal fab, and machine tech. We also have the Center for Building and Design, which has HVAC, plumbing, electrical, construction, and cabinet making. We also have the Center for Health and Public Services, which is business marketing, culinary arts, cosmetology, early ed, uh, graphic communications, health services, environmental, engineering, civil engineering and architecture, um, legal and protective services, and community networking. We also have visual and performing arts, which is also a component of the Innovation Academy, and that includes visual design, um, and photography, web design, music, video, and performing arts. 2012-2013, we're in the beginning stages of starting a medical assisting and a dental assisting program, which will be live in September. Through part of our renovations, we're creating um, a health sciences wing, and we hope to bring in some biomedical classes that are offered to our student body. Healthcare is the one industry that even during the time of our recession has continued to grow and will continue to grow in the future. So I'm really excited about bringing those programs here. Some of the changes that I want to see is I want to see some more student-driven projects. You know, a lot of times our teachers do a lot of the planning and, you know, the carrying out of different activities. I want to change students' mindsets where you're given the task of planning ahead for activities. What supplies and materials do you need? The cost-effectiveness of, of certain things that you're going to do or the money that you're going to need to do them. I think that um, a lot of that weight is put on the adults in the building and it shouldn't be because if we're going to teach you to be, you know, 21st century thinkers, you need to you be, need to be given the end in mind and then work backwards, learning what all the things. For example, you know, when you come to school September 1st, you're thinking right off the top that, um, you know, everything, you know, just walk into school and that's all the planning that you know, takes place. The fact of the matter is teachers start thinking about what they're going to need for supplies and materials in November for next school year. I want to get you involved in more of that. I also like the fact right now that you're here interviewing me. I think that though it's very important for every vocational program to be able to do, not just with their customer base, but communication skills are a huge part of learning and we can't teach it by textbook. We can only teach that by learning, uh, by actually doing it. So I want to see more of that done around the building.